How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Got a bit of a cold, sorry about that. Today's After Effects quick tip is something that I have only just discovered. After using After Effects for like 15 years, I've only just discovered that this exists and it would have saved me absolute hours and hours of time had I known that this simple keyboard shortcut existed. That is to center an object, a layer, in view in a 3D comp. Let me explain what I mean. If I'm working in a 3D space and I wanted an object dumped into that 3D space, like this bush here, I would typically drag it into my composition and then pull it out in Z axis, in Z space, uh, to give it you know more foreground or more background property. Uh, then you know I would just move it around using these axes until I had it where I wanted. And that works great, provided that where you want it is within your window. But let's say that I come over to I don't know, somewhere along here in this composition and I want to drag a new item in here. Uh, let's let's just go for another flame. Yeah, uh, I want to add that flame in. Well, that flame is not a 3D object yet. I turn it into a 3D object and now it's gone. It's it's gone because the camera has moved up vertically and the 3D object is being placed at a default 3D space location. So what I'd need to do is, you know, find a way to bring that up into my frame. And what I was doing for 15 years was either grabbing those handles like the Y there and manually dragging it up until it's fitting into my composition window or coming along to the properties here and using these controls here to manually drag it along to fit in the view. That is insane, considering that all I'd need to do is drag and drop it and then hit Control or Command Home and it will center it in view. How did I not know this? This would retroactively save me days of animating time. Now, if you don't have a Home button on your keyboard for some reason or that shortcut is already taken by something else. Just right click, come up to transform, and here you have center in view. So you still need to bring it forward or backwards if you want it to be foreground or background. But still, oh my goodness, how how did I not know that? I have no idea. I have no idea. There's, there must be so many other things I just, I've missed that would make my life so much easier. So if I find any, I'll make another one of these quick tips because to me that's the most useful point of them is finding that there's something I didn't know. Maybe someone else doesn't know it either. Maybe it'll help you save you 15 years of manually dragging crap up and down and across and sideways in a 3D space. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. I hope you found it useful. I hope you learned something and if you didn't, then you're very lucky. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell and I'll see you next time. Cheers.